Hi and welcome to our channel. Here's a quick question. What messenger do you opt for to stay in touch with your friends and family? According to the data provided on SimilarWeb.com, the most popular messaging app in the United States and Canada is Facebook Messenger. Its main rival seems to be WhatsApp that is predominant across all continents except Australia. Then there is also Viber, WeChat, Skype, Line and Telegram. By the way, have you ever heard of the latter? We bet you have. But according to the same stats on similar web, it doesn't seem to be that popular at all, even though last March its CEO stated that it had 200 million monthly active users. And as of April 2017, Telegram's annual growth rate was greater than 50%. We at Crypto Times are all long-time users of this app, because it's proved to be a very powerful tool while coordinating our work on this channel, as well as for any small talk you make with your regular messenger. And we truly believe that Telegram has a number of superior features that make it stand out. But our today's review will not concern the app per se, but rather the people behind the scenes. We're talking about those who develop Telegram. We guess everyone knows who launched the software five years ago. And if you don't, we'll tell you. It was Pavel Durov, an entrepreneur of Russian descent. He's also the founder and former CEO of the social networking service VK. Pavel has an elder brother, Nikolai Durov, who is a programmer and mathematician. It was him who developed the MT Proto mobile protocol implemented in Telegram for access to a server API from applications running on mobile devices. He is also currently leading the team that is building the TON ecosystem on top of the messenger. TON stands for the Telegram Open Network, and this platform will allow users to exchange cryptocurrency within the messenger. Nikolai has been supporting all his brother's enterprises, lending his helping hand and mind of the International Mathematical Olympiads winner. However, he didn't embark on developing VK full-time at the very start. This this is what he says. At the initial stage of development, I merely advised the team now and then and fulfilled the role of a system administrator. But then, one and a half years later, we had to start creating new systems for data storage. And that's exactly when I had to step in in earnest. In 2014, when Pavel Durov was dismissed as CEO of VK, he took with him all the top-tier developers of the service to work on Telegram. Later, he added more international experts to the team, and at this point, it is made up of some 15 individuals that Pavel considers to be the cream of the industry. Their headquarters is situated in Germany's capital, but the managing company is registered in the UK. The core of the team is represented by those professionals that previously brought VK to the international level. But unfortunately, there is not much info out there on any members of the team. However, the newly released TON white paper revealed a little detail. And now we are going to take a look at some of them. Alexi Levin has been a C and C++ engineer at Telegram since 2013. He's been developing distributed data storage engines, client cross-platform libraries, and the bot API. Before Telegram, he was one of the VK devs, during which time he built data storage engines and created the custom programming language KPHP for high-level back-end developers. Vitalik Waltman is another VK-raised C and C++ engineer. He developed networking and data storage engines for that service, which he continues doing now for Telegram. The same tasks were and also are done by yet another engineer, Arseny Smirnov. Plus, there are more eight individuals on the team whose second names are not even indicated in the ton white paper, but we feel like we ought to mention them anyway. John is the client C++ engineer at Telegram who single-handedly built Telegram desktop. Igor is the lead backend engineer at Telegram who built the entire Telegram API for client apps. Dr. Klo is an Android engineer at Telegram after winning a nationwide contest in Android Java. He built Telegram for Android. Peter is the iOS and Swift engineer at Telegram who built Telegram for iOS. Grisha is the cross-platform developer who builds the voice calls feature for Telegram. Kolar is the back-end and front-end engineer who created the Instant View platform, the Translations platform, Telegra.ph, Telesco.pe, and other features. Ilya is the iOS and Swift engineer at Telegram after winning several nationwide contests in Objective-C, who built multiple features for Telegram iOS. And finally, one more Igor, who is the infrastructure architect at Telegram, and he scaled Telegram to tens of thousands of servers. Well, with such a profound team of software engineers and 500,000 users that join Telegram daily, what do you think the future looks like for the messenger and its blockchain venture? Will it become the world's most adopted cryptocurrency as it says in the leaked ton teaser? Tell us your opinion in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and join us now to stay updated on all of our upcoming videos. We roll them out daily, Monday through Friday, so stay tuned.